what uh, is a crucial role in accomplishing the continent's development goals is widely recognized. In sub-Saharan Africa, about 40% of the population lacks safe drinking water. Within 10 years, the global demand for water is expected to grow by 50%. We had an in-depth conversation with the former president of Tanzania, His Excellency Jakaya Kikwete, the chair of a Global Water Partnership, Southern, and Af Southern Africa and Africa, on the urgent need to invest in water and sanitation projects here on the continent. Yes, it is done everywhere. It is uh, really stalled action, stalled action, because the, in the African Investment Program, the, 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 there were benchmarks. There were benchmarks on this date, we're going to do this, we're going to mobilize resources. We're going to do that and that. So, but we, with with COVID COVID nineteen and, and a number of these programs that we have, have really action 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 programs, action benchmarks have have been stalled. The meetings could not be held. Of course, there there are also the the donors, the partners, even even governments uh, respond government concerned governments. You know, they had to divert resources. To, to, to respond to the to, to, to the emergency. So it um, we are yet to assess. We are yet to assess exactly uh, how much it has it has affected. But definitely the the, 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 the effect is, is 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 visible in 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 in, in that sense. At a time like this with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, there is an increase in need of water, you know, but then when you also look at uh, the supply bid, it's getting even tighter. You know, what are some of uh, the urgent actions that uh, should be considered that should we be taking at this particular time? Yeah, in fact, COVID, COVID has, has increased the, 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 the need for water, you know, washing. People have got to wash. Well, see, people have been making jokes that now we are washing without eating anything. <laughs> people are used to washing <laughs> ready to eat, but you have to wash all the time. Of course, it has increased the use, the, use, the use of water, of course, and then increasing the demand for water. So essentially, of course, the, the, the agency for, for investments actually is, is based on, um, on the fact that on the African continent, there are huge unmet needs, needs for water. We have hundreds of millions of people uh, who, who, who don't have access to clean drinking water supply. And there's, the, the figure is estimated to be around 300 million. It's, it's a huge number of people who don't have access to clean drinking, drink, drinking water. People have got therefore to leave their homes, go and get water somewhere else. And uh, it is estimated that in Africa, uh, 40 billion hours uh, that could be used or say is lost in, 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 in the movement of people searching for water from here. In some places, people have got to walk long distances, long distances to, to, to get to, to a place where they, they, can get, they can get water. Unfortunately, uh, the women in Africa are bearing the burden because in the division of labor that man has crafted in society, uh, he, he has left this task of fetching water in the hands of women. So, you see, this 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 this, this is this is one 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 aspect of why we have to invest in getting clean water for our people. As SDG six says, equal access to water and sanitation for everybody. That that's 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 one. But the second is. Um, sanitation itself, you know, so, so people, people, there is inadequate access to, to sanitation, to sanitation. Um, many people, many, many people don't have uh, access to sanitation facilities, sanitation services. It is estimated in the African continent, about 700 million people don't have access to, to proper sanitation facilities, the latrines, the toilets. Uh, in, in urban areas, the, the sewerage and drainage, and when in urban areas where there are slums, you know, the, the situation is even worse, is, 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 is even worse. So that, that's, 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 that's why, one aspect why we have to invest mm. in, in, in water and sanitation on the African continent. But the third factor is that economic activities and, 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 and services demand water, mm. need, need, need water, need water, and we, 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 we don't have enough water. And for, 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 for industries, for agriculture, for healthcare, for, 
for, for services like hotels, for office buildings, and so on, for businesses. So in, in a way, uh, lack of water itself is, is, an, is, an, is an impediment to growth and development on the African continent. This, this is what brings the case for investing in, 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 in water. It is so urgent, it's so urgent that we cannot continue this way. Of course, there is an acknowledgement that governments are doing a lot, have been doing a lot, but <clears throat> there are still huge gaps, mm. huge gaps that, that have, have, have got to be met and it is so urgent. Yeah, Your Excellency, have... just to come back to your point, you say there are huge gaps and you've just uh, touched on uh, the great impact uh, that uh, investing in water as well as sanitation project has on the continent's economy. What are these huge gaps? What are these challenges that are hindering uh, investments? There is, there is a realization that Africa, Africa has, has, has these huge gaps. In, in 2018, uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations and the President of the World Bank convened, convened a high-level pan, high panel on water. And this high-level panel, the, 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 the conclusion has been that there is need of launching an Africa water investment program. In, in response to this, um, African ministers, Council on Water, the ministers responsible for water, uh, the, the African Union uh, Development Agency, the, the, the famous NEPAD, uh, <coughs> met to, 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 to discuss, to, 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 to discuss the, 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 this particular, uh, particular fact. Of course, the African Development Bank as well participated. So that when they met, then they 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 they, they conceived the Africa investment invest, investment the Africa water inv, 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 investment program. And of course, this was done in twenty nineteen, and then of course twenty nineteen same year. Then the ministers formally endorsed and, and endorsed the program. There are there are, there are requirements there are requirements for resources the requirements for resources. ADB estimates that uh, Africa needs hundred and hundred and thirty between hundred and thirty and hundred and seventy billion dollars to, 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 to implement the, the annually to implement the, the, the water programs. Of course, in view of what, what, what is being done now, what is being invested now, of course, there, there is this, there is a gap of between oh, up, oh, up to six to eight billion. But to the African ministers of water in the Africa, in the Africa water vision, the Africa water vision came up with a, with a figure of 64 billion annually, of 64 billion annually, so that if, if this money can be raised, they would be able to, 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 to meet the demands, to the, the, the needs for clean drink, drinking water, water for and environmental sanitation issues. We'd be able to get water for economic and economic activities and, 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 and services. Well, the challenge is how do we raise the 64 billion? That, 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 that is the catch 22 question available there. So all, all this time now, the, the, this is where now we, we, uh, efforts have been made to, to mobilize political will, political leadership, to levels to, to develop, to, to impress upon donors, develop partners, and the private sector also to come in and see if we can we can be able to raise to to to, to raise the the, the, the sixty the, the sixty four billion dollars annually so that we can meet the the needs for water, sanit and sanitation on on, on the African continent. So it's not, it's not really easy, but uh, yeah. these are the things that, that, that we're, 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 we're working on. Yes, you've touched on uh, the key role that the public sector has been playing, and uh, you asked the question, who will bring uh, the investments of the $64 billion US dollars? Is the private sector stepping up to this challenge? Are we seeing uh, the right uh, PPPs being drafted at this time? Yeah, of course, of course, we, we, we need the private sector to participate, because the public sector alone we will not be able to raise the, 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 these resources. Of course, for the private sector now to participate, you have to create a, a conducive invest, investment uh, climate for them to come and, and participate. And that is where now governments have this responsibility of, of, of encouraging the private sector to come to come in and, 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 and participate. So it's, it's, it's up now to governments to really to, of course, to, to develop programs to go of programs and plans where, where it is easy for the private sector to come to come to come and invest to see areas where the private sector can participate in the in the whole water water resource uh, development and management value chain 
because they, they will choose which area they, 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 they can participate. But I, I think it's, it's, it, it, it is possible, uh, but it, it, it is really in the hands of government to create a proper PPP env environment, environment so that the private sector can also participate. But if we can't bring in the private sector, it will take us a long time, a long time in order to meet all the needs for, for water and sanitation on the, on the African continent. When we look at the infrastructure here on the continent, um, some of them have aged, some of them are, are deteriorating because they've been operational for quite some time. You've touched on investments. What kind of investments are we talking about in that 64 billion US dollars? Is infrastructure one of the key areas that it is focusing on? Yeah, of course, yes, certainly. Infrastructure is, 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 is one, is, is the, 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 going to take the major part of it. Because you know, like, like take the case for Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam, we are getting water from uh, from Ruvu River here. It is uh, about 100 kilometers from Dar es Salaam, from Dar es Salaam. So we we, we have to build the infrastructure, uh, the, the intake at, at the river, then build the pipe systems, uh, the, the tanks, also that you could, the reservoirs. Where well, then from there, this build the distribution network. Actually, a, a, lot, a lot of this money is going to go into the into the into building the, the infrastructure the infrastructure so that you can you can the places where they have got to to source water from underground they've got to do the the, the, the surveys drill the wells correct wells in places where they have got to build dams they have got to impound rivers pound rivers build dams and then you use that the demand the water from the dams deliver that water so it's it's a question really essentially a lot of this money is going to go into 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 infrastructure into infrastructure investment into the, the infrastructure. Of course, there is also the aspect of management, management, manage, management of the water resources themselves. Mm -hmm. That we have got to to to, to, to manage the, the sources of water, we have to protect the sources of water. There is the whole aspect of environmental environment management the environment because uh, so that you, you continue to get to get the water. So the, the, there is, a, it's, it's, it's about the bulk of the money, of course, will be spent on infrastructure. But of course, there, there are also other, other, other related, related needs. So as you, you, you to have the water flow, you have the water always there to, to be able. To, well, that, that's, that's, I think that's, that's, that's what I can, I can say. But the bulk of the money will be for, for infrastructure. Mm, you've also touched on the environment and there's been a rising concern of uh, climate change when you're looking at uh, pollution, water safety, you know, what should governments here on the continent be doing in order to create sustainable long-term solutions? Again, it's, 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 a, it's another problem. So really how, how, how now we address this, 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 some of these, the effects of climate change is, is, is another major factor that, that that, that really need, need, need serious attention. And these are some of the things that we are, we are really working on in, in the global partnership, with, in partnership with the governments and, and, uh, and, 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 and the partners on how really, how do, are we going to respond to, to the effects of climate change? Because they are, they are, their effects are real. So you don't get the rains at all at a time when you want them. They come at a time when you don't want them and they just continue, <laughs> just continue. So they, they, they continue for a long time. We are not sure if we're going to get the, 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 the next uh, rain cycle is going to start in October. Oh. We, we are not sure if we're going to get it or not. Uh, so it, 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 is, it is really a, a problem. But because of this, then you, you see you have, uh, then it, in, in the river systems where we source the water, we don't, we, we, there are times when we, we don't get enough water for, for the river systems. In the, in the in the villages, when 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 I was growing up, that we used to, to have a, a, a stream, a stream where during the flood the the, the the rainy season we would not be able to cross. But these days, when I was minister for water, what we did we did a study. We, we, I was minister for water, energy, and minerals, and we are developing a power station along along, along the, the, the the the. The, the Pangani River. So we had to, to, to make a, a comprehensive hydrology survey of all the, all the rivers and the, the tributaries uh, that, that are, are, are bringing water into the Pangani River. A study that, that was done came up with amazing, amazing results. 
many of the many of the, of the of the tributaries that used to be perennial have become seasonal rivers. So you can you can see the the, the river the, the rivers are drying up. The, the, so the, the the big rivers are not getting enough water. So it's 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 a it's a complicated situation. That's why in the Africa Investment Program, also the issues uh, relating to climate change are, 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 have a serious place there. They have been given serious attention, so 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 that we 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 see how to mitigate the effects of of climate change and ensure that there is there is a steady and stable water supply 